Each one of these dots represents one of Elon Musk's tweets from the year 2021. So we can actually go inside of this data and look around and say, wow, Elon, you uh, have been tweeting quite a bit. Now, I did add some coloration on these so that the ones that are red, like this one over here, means it, it got significantly more likes than the ones that are blue. This is on a gradient scale, so the purple is kind of like an in-between amount, okay? And we can actually like add some more data to all of these tweets by pressing the next button, and that will display all of this data inside of a cool 3D scatter plot where we have three different axes here. The Y axis is the likes count, that is the vertical. We have kind of like this width right here, which is going to be the hour that he tweeted it. And then we're going to have the date over here on the depth. That basically shows the date that he tweeted it. And so with this, we're able to, you know, see these different tweets and see Elon Musk's different tweeting patterns. So for example, at the beginning of the year, you see a lot of these red dots, which indicates the likes were actually quite high. And compared to the rest of the year, there's not nearly as many red dots. So at the beginning of the year, Elon Musk had quite the uh, viral tweets. We do have some towards the end of the year but not nearly the amount we did at the beginning of 2021. And you might be like, well, why is this so viral? What is he saying? We can go ahead and click on one of these right here. If there's ever a scandal about me, please call it Elon Gate. I guess people really like that one. These are kind of hard to click with my thumb. You're welcome. We have to see what that one's, you know, in reference to. So it's finally come to this. So I don't know, a lot of these are probably memes and images, but the point is we can see, okay, he was a lot more viral at the beginning of the year than he was at the end of the year. And of course that he tweets a lot. Now let's go ahead and see if we can see what like days or like or the month or what months he was most viral or most active. You can see he actually tweeted as more as the year went on. Like you can see there's a lot more blue dots down here or maybe, maybe especially like the month of June or sorry, July and August, there's a lot of blue dots versus in like April and May, there's not a whole lot. Um, not a whole lot in, in February and March as well. So I think he tweeted more as the year went on and especially in like the middle of the year and maybe had a little less viral tweets or at least uh, less red, which means the like count was up. We can also look at the hour of the day that he tweets. So if I come over here and we're just gonna try to look at the hour of the day, we have from midnight to midnight, right? And we can try to analyze when Elon tweets during the day. Like, so for instance, one thing I noticed on the right-hand side, that's going to be from like eight o'clock to midnight. There's actually some pretty big gaps at the beginning right here, right? Where he's not actually tweeting at those night hours, but eventually he stars, he does start to uh, tweet in those night hours down here. And it's more these afternoon hours that have those big gaps where he's not tweeting. The other crazy thing that I thought was interesting was how much he is tweeting from like midnight to like 3 a.m., 5 a.m. Like all the stuff over here on the left-hand side, there's actually like a decent amount. So really in the afternoon, it looks like he's tweeting less. I guess that means he's probably working versus the rest of the time he's just chilling or something like that. But this is basically all of Elon Musk's tweets visualized in 3D augmented reality looking at the likes count, the hour, and the date of the tweet with the colors representing, the colors and the size here represent the like count. So I'll show you now how I made this in less than 10 minutes. By the way, my name is Avery Smith and I'm building 30 day of science projects in 30 days. So when I decided I wanted to do this project, I had to think about where I was going to get Elon Musk tweets data. And of course we could have gotten it from the Twitter API, but I thought, you know what? Why do so much more work when I'm building 30 day of science projects in 30 days? I need every shortcut I can get. So I decided to start with a data set from Kaggle that basically had all of his tweets from like the past 10 years. Next, I know I wanted to do this in augmented reality and the best tool for doing augmented reality data visualization is called Flow Immersive. I like the team at Flow Immersive. I love their product. I've actually been using it in a little bit of consulting, believe it or not. And uh, they have very cool way to tell these data stories in augmented reality. So I sign up for an account there. You can get a 30 day free trial or you can pay $20 a month, which is actually cheaper than Tableau, if I'm correct. So it's actually a pretty good deal if you ask me. Here's what the editor looks like from the inside. This is basically like Tableau meets PowerPoint. So you have like slide one, and then here's slide two, right, that we saw. Um, and basically you have different uh, graph elements right here. So I have what's called a swarm, 
and this swarm is just a random chart, so that's why it's just a random one meter by one meter by one meter cubed, where I have the dot sizes at 10, and I have a gradient scale based on the likes of the tweets. You upload your data up here. You see that I uploaded the data just as a CSV. And uh, then I added a little text that said Elon Musk tweets. And then from here, the data remains the same, but instead of doing a random chart, I'm doing a scatter plot. And that scatter plot has three different dimensions, the width, the height, and the depth. The width is the date, so there's the date over there. The height is the likes, and then the depth is the hour, and here's the depth. And I once again, uh, and this one I actually made five by one by one so that the dates go out longer. Um, you, could make, you could make this any size, you know. Um, I once again have the colors and the sizes according to the tweets. And then I also added basically an interaction that when you rolled over, it would show you the tweet, the likes count, the retweets count, the date, and the time. So for instance, if I roll over one of these with my mouse, you can see my 14 year old Saxon says he feels like 2021 will be a good year. I agree, let's all make it so. That got, it looks like 892,000 likes, 61,000 retweets, and that was on January 9th, 2021 at almost 11 p.m. at night. And so that works for you know any of these tweets. You can try to dive in and understand them a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'll give you the code and the data for this particular project and 29 other data science projects that I'm building in this challenge. Check out these two other projects that I did. I think you'll enjoy them. I'm leaving now.